What up, you hoe-ass, trick-ass, fuck-all-you-haters-ass motherfuckers? All about the you, baby. Woo! What's up, fuckers? I bet some of y'all motherfuckers who watch this video right now wishing, you know what? I bet Miami was going to lose tonight. They finally played a ranked team. They gonna lose tonight. Guess what? All you dumbass, trick ass, hoe ass, bitch ass motherfuckers who put that money on the line tonight, you hoes lost, bitch. Because Miami, we still undefeated. Woo! And I know what's coming right now. I know. Make fun of the ginger beard. Make fun of my weight. Make fun of whatever the fucking you want to. But the bottom line, all you bitch ass motherfuckers who hate on Miami, hate the fact that we're undefeated and your sorry ass motherfucking program, well, majority y'all at least, you know, you know, Florida, Florida State, Y'all just fighting to make a bowl game right now. Because y'all realize what's coming. You realize that it's our time now. That makes y'all shake in your boots. You know that deep down, y'all fucked. Deep down, y'all fucked. Before I get deep, too deep into the video, I need to say these three things. I'm going to try and get them quickly done. Number one, in case they happen to come across this video, I want to give a shout out to the realest Hokie fans I've ever met in my life. First of all, most importantly, nobody can sit here and argue with this, Don V, a.k.a. VTZ from VA. This guy, hardcore Hokie fan, has stuck through them through the good and the bad from both. The bats, the beaver ball, to now, realest Hokie fan I've ever known in my life. Number two, uh, Ricky Diaz. I believe his channel is I Live for Saturdays. I'm, forgive me, dude. If you haven't come across this video, I forgive you. Grant, I've had quite a few drinks in me, so forgive me. And number three, HTTTR. Grant, he didn't make a video. He didn't speak nothing on it. But when I think of Hokies football, those are the three people who come to mind. Most importantly, to be honest, no disrespect to the other two, but VTZ from VA, who has kept it 100, 10 times 10, no matter what, this guy deserves the most respect. Because there was at one point in time, and you know Don Vito, it was me and you, and that was it. You know that. And I know that you do. Number two, I meant to give this... Uh, I meant to say this a few videos ago. I forgot. I just forgot to ask him for his respect. Fuck it. I'm hammered. I don't think he's going to give a fuck. Uh, Birdman, section 126. To those of you, and there's plenty of you out there that remember him, I know that. I know that probably a hell of a lot more than remember me, to be honest. His channel. I'll try and try to remember to, to link his channel down below. So hit him with a sub. I have no problem admitting that he's the better video maker, 10 times better than what I do. I can admit that. But he's doing videos again. I'll try and try to remember to leave his channel down below. If it takes a little time, forgive me. I got more drinking to do. So, leave it at that. And third, this victory tonight... I know that at least among majority of the fan base, whether it be myself, whether it be Birdman, whether it be Bo or Love the U32, to Jay, to Unk, to Alonzo, to Gus305, anybody who has took the time to make a video here on YouTube about the Miami Hurricanes, we all deserve this victory tonight.
We all do. We all deserve everything we've gotten so far this year. Everybody. There may be things I disagree with, they, things they say. There may be things that they say that I disagree with. But at the end of the day, that's all part of this family that we have. We're all going to disagree about certain things. But they all deserve the same respect as anybody. Flat out. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to just hang over in the morning. Shout out to everybody. Everybody in the Miami Hurricane fan base who has stayed true no matter what. You have rode this out. No matter what. You all deserve a shout out and I give tip all of my hat to all of you all of you whether you love me hated me or been somewhere in between I'm fine with that I've never been someone who has you know been on this agreed with every single Kane fan's opinion I put my opinion out there some people agree with it some people don't but there's there's one thing that Every single one of you can agree can can agree with. I've kept it real with all of you, just like everyone else who has put videos out here on YouTube, or better yet, even put your comment down below on these videos, on Alonzo's videos, on Unk's videos, on Jay's videos, on Bo's videos, etc., etc. Flat out, I'm not gonna sit here and nitpick wins, nitpick the win here tonight. We play phenomenal. And to be honest, if I was to nitpick right now, I wouldn't know what the fuck I just saw because I'm too fucking hammered right now to even remember one fucking thing. I'll be surprised if I remember the fucking score correctly, to be honest with you. All I know is Miami walked out with W sign. That's all that fucking matters at the end of the fucking day. Because deep down, every single one of you motherfuckers who is not a Miami fan you deep down wish that Miami would never return to the top of dominance. And this is this is this is a first step. A first step to us climbing back to being back. We are not back. No. In my opinion, once again, let me say, my opinion, all about the U83's opinion, the University of Miami is not back until we win another national title. That is the standard. That is a standard I have grew up with, and that is the standard that will maintain forever now through the day that I'm six feet under. No matter what, till we win another national title, we are not back. But a very important first step was taken today. Play Virginia Tech, a ranked opponent that many people thought we had no chance of beating. And we beat soundly. Soundly. There were some mistakes. I'm not going to nitpick on that shit. I'm not going to do it tonight because this, this is about all of us coming together and realizing for the first time in a long time that we will truly start getting the respect we deserve. There's still plenty more we got to get, and we got to win out to get it. Flat out. Fuck anyone who comes across this video. If you're a Florida State fan, if you're if you're a Florida fan, all you cock-sucking motherfuckers are fighting for bowl eligibility right now. Y'all are fighting to make a bowl game right now. And Florida State, most importantly, y'all some bitch-ass motherfuckers. Straight up. Trying to schedule a game with Louisiana Monroe just to make a bowl game. Fuck Jimbo. Fuck every one of you Florida State fucks. We undefeated. I don't know where we're going to be come playoff fucking shit come Tuesday night. But all I know is, deep down, all you guys don't want Miami to be back. You know you don't. You know you don't. Because when we're on top, there's very few, if anyone, that can stop us. Very important win tonight. I wish Georgia Tech could have took care of business, but then again, they choked. That's okay. That's okay. That's all right. 
We're going to take care of business. It's okay. We know what we need to do. But big win tonight. Shout out to everyone who went to the game. Shout out to every Miami Hurricane fan out there. Shout out to every Miami Hurricane player if they haven't come across this video. Shout out to Alonzo, to Bo, to Unk, to Jay, to Birdman, to Gus, everybody. We've all waited for this for a long time. And we're going to celebrate this shit, man. Celebrate this shit. Game day's coming to Miami next week. Miami, Notre Dame. We see you, Notre Dame. We see you. Come on down to Miami, baby. Because we ready. We ready. All about the you. Go Canes, baby. And I'll see y'all next Saturday. Drink it up, baby. Drink it up. Because come tomorrow, when the sun rises, time to get back to work. Bye, guys.